Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to episode four, part. I want to say two, but it's part three. Um, last I left off, I finished explaining to you guys what Yet On Slash Off a Vehicle is, and this part I'm going to be explaining to you guys what the character tab means. Chain transparency basically makes your character, as in the actor that you're playing as, transparent or transparent or not transparent. Um, change player order. Wait, I'm guessing what this does is basically the is the I forgot which caterpillar. Yeah, the caterpillar effect. This turns it off or turns it on when you're when you have a party. You could have your party members following along you, or you could not have that. Gather, follow, move all party members to the same position as the lead character. So this is again these two these two features are new to RPG Maker VS Ace. Gather followers basically just makes all the ca caterpillar people like just like stack onto your character. Show animation basically just shows an animation, and you could pick if you wanted to show an animation on the character, this event, or other events around the map. So you could like have a like have yeah basically you pick an animation and then it plays the animation on the player or an event show balloon does the same thing but it shows exclamation question mark music no heart for different emotions that you want to be displaying while a cutscene is going on or something is going on erase events as it says it just erases the, it temporarily removes the event from be ever being executed so if you raise an event it will never happen again unless you leave the map and come back <sighs> this is a mouthful okay screen effects um this fades out the screen makes the screen go black fade in makes the screen return back to normal Tint screen, if you want to change the color of the screen, this is like if you're making like a memory, like a flashback, you can make it sepia or some other color like that. If you're in a dark cave, you can make it like dark blue and then it's like, it feels like the cave is dark. Um, flash screen, as it says, it flashes the screen to any color you want. This, the time should, um, is how long you want it to flash and wait for completion means like nothing, the event won't continue running until the flash is over. Or you can make the event continue running while it's flashing. Shake screen does the same as that thing that flash screen does, only it shakes the screen instead of flashing it. Timing wait, this basically just makes the event pause for like if like for the specified amount of time and then continues once the time is over. Picture and weather. This shows a picture on the screen. That means you could put pick a custom picture and then show it on the screen. Um, you assign each picture a number and then the graphics and then this is like where you want it to be The origin of it you can make it the upper left or the center or you could pick exactly where you want it And then you could put it exactly where you want it with a constant and you I don't I don't know what that variable then does This is the zoom how much you want it to zoom with um, width wise or um, height wise this is the um, opacity you could set it to be 100% or you can make it like not like visible type you can make it you can um, make it a positive or negative picture or you could just leave it at normal which I don't know why you want it to anyways move picture is the same um it base move picture basically moves the picture that sh that shows with the with this one rotate picture moves the picture that you put up tint picture tints a picture that you put up erase picture does erases the picture that you put up set weather effect this is basically for if you if you're good enough at events and you can make your own weather system with this but this is basically like if you're making like a cutscene or a map that's always raining or always storming or always snowing this basically just sets the weather music and background basically these are controls for music and background sounds Play background music, plays the background music, fade out background music, fades out the background music, save background music, save the current background music playing. So you could like do stuff with it. I don't know. Replay background music, just plays the background music that was playing again. Play background sounds, plays the back plays the background sound, it fades out the background sound. <gasps> Mouthful. Wow, play M E that's I forgot what's I forgot what's what what what's an M E? Melody? I don't know. It plays an ME. 
um, play as E plays the sound effect. Stop sound effect. Stop the sound effect. I'm trying to end this with this. Scene control. Battle processing. This is like if you're in a bus battle and you want to, you want a, a, um, a battle to be triggered while you're from an event. You go ahead and click bus battle. Direct. Um, this. These sign, I don't even know what that says. I can't. I don't. I'm not gonna try to read it. Basically, this is you pick which um, monster you want to fight, and then you pick if you want if you want to be able to escape or if you want to continue even when when loser. That means like you don't die. Basically, like if you die if you die in the battle, it's not a game over. You just continue the um the event. I think I never use the um events um the default battle system, so I don't really know. Shop processing basically this is what you use for NPCs that sell goods. You go to edit and then you pick the items you want and then you specify the price or so you pick standard which you the standard is the price that you set in the database and specify this how much you want it to be sold. You could pick item weapon or armor and then you add mini. The purchase only means you can only purchase and not sell your items. Name inputting process, this is used for like if you want the player to have their own name, you could pick the max characters, which is I think is 16. Yeah, it's 16, and then you pick which actor you want their name to be changed. And then once the name is changed, it's changed forever. Unless you do a name inputting process again, which changes the name again. Open menu screen just opens the menu screen. Um Open save screen opens the save screen. Game over forces the game to end. Return to title screen forces the game to return to the title screen. Whew, about full. Okay, system settings. Change battle background music. Um. Okay, during the battle, you could also like have an event inside of battles, but I never used that, so I just remembered you could do that. Once you're inside battles, you could definitely change the background music while you're in the battle, or you could change the battle end me. Um, change save assets. This is basically you could change whether if you can save or you can't save, and this is changes the menu assets, which means that you could access the menu or you cannot access the menu depending on which one you pick. Change encounter. You could change the encounter. You could turn on encounter or turn it off. Change formation access. Uh, um, this one allows you to be able to change the party formation. So whichever formation is in front is the player that you play as while you're walking around the world, or the player that attacks first, or so, whatever, something like that. But I'm definitely sure it's like it changes which um, party member is in front when you're walking in the world. But I don't know about the battle because I don't use the default battle system. Change window color. You could change the window color. And you could make a custom window, and then I'm guessing this changes the color of it. Um, change after graphics. You could change after graphics if you're good enough in inventing. You could use it to make um, um, show like when you pick when you put on the new armor, it changes the graphics like I do in my open world RPG. Make um videos. Change um vehicle graphics the same thing as a um a character graphics. So you can make a boat and make it turn into a horse, something like that. Okay, map. Change map display name. You could change. Oh, okay, no, that okay. Change map display name. You could. Ch I didn't. I, I was gonna. I thought you could change what the map display name said, but no, that's not. Cause I'm. Not, this is also new to RPG Maker VS Ace. Um, this basically like when you enter a new map, it always shows the um map name, but then map display name. But you this um gives you the option to turn it off and turn it on. Change tile set. Change the tile set. Oh, okay, that's also new to RPG Maker VS Ace. So you could basically just change the tile set of an entire map. Let's say you have two map, two tile sets, but they're the same, but only one has a different color and the other one does have a different color. Like let's say one is like one is peaceful and the other one is like when evil takes over. So you could just change the tile set on the fly like that, so it goes from one color to another color. But it wouldn't work if it's like a tile set of a dungeon and then you change it into a tile set of inside of a building. That would just make everything look weird. Change battle back. As it says, it will change the battle back of the current map. Change parallax back. is basically the parallax on the map. It could change it. Get location info. This gets the coordination of the player in the... Of the player... I don't even know. So I'm just going to skip that. Battle change enemy and 
HP, so you could change um the enemy's HP. I don't know if it's during battle or outside of battle too. So basically, change the enemy's MP, change enemy state, enemy recover all, enemy recovers everything, enemy appears, spawns the enemy. So this basically just like makes the enemy come up and fight you or something like that. Enemy transform into another. So enemy one transforms what into another enemy. Show battle animation. This um during battle you could pick if you if you want an animation to be played force action you could force um actor to do something sp specific a bot battle basically just ends the battle and finally advanced which is where you place your script calls and I will also be explaining that later and that is episode three. Of invent overview remember it's just an overview tell, giving you a brief um, overview of what the everything does in the event and I will be going into more details with them with my inventing tutorials because I'm gonna have like um, tutorials on how to do specific things with events and stuff like that like making an NPC making a day and night system stuff like that and thanks again for watching stay tuned because I will, will try to do um, episode 5 which would be on character generator it's actually something is that one's definitely going to be a quick video like under five minutes or something like that so thanks again for watching and uh, yeah see you guys in the next episode